Bang. Knees and eyes. I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Carol. Hello. Today we are going to check out our full knife collection. Mm -hmm. uh, we saved the better ones or the more expensive ones for the end. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to try to rush them as fast as we can. There is a lot of knives here. We did start a Patreon. Um, we didn't set up the tiers quite yet, so we do need to go through and set that up. But you can go check it out if you want to and if you guys can help support us. I know so many of you guys have treated us so well and support us so much, and we truly would really appreciate it if you guys could check that out. Yeah, I'm going to put as many links as I can. You know, we use our links through Amazon. They are links we pick. They are not sponsored links. They don't cost you any extra to purchase through them, and they support us in a small way, but it's important, and it helps our channel out a lot, especially for shipping costs transportation to get to the shipping all that kind of stuff is expensive and it helps us out so much to continue doing these videos so check out the description if you're interested in something see if it's there i will do my absolute best and another way you guys can support us for free is just by liking our videos subscribing to our sh channel sharing our videos and hitting the bell let's get to this video guys <laughs> commence collection viewing all right, guys, first up, Alien Knives. Um, we'd like you to go check them out on Instagram. I think he it's just sent a him, not a them. Go check him out on Instagram. Yeah, it is just a him. He uh, handmade this knife, and he's handmaking knives. This was his first one, so he's made many since then. He's even done some frame locks and stuff. This is a friction folder, cleaver. Which is really cool, and for a first-time knife, I think he calls it a nano cleaver. It's um, it's actually really cool. It's G10, and it's a pretty cool little neck knife. So, I do I do like this, um, and especially for the first one, because you could just see like for the first time building one. Um, I could never do that my first time, so. Right. So I mean, go check out his uh, frame locks and his other friction folders. He's doing um a lot of good stuff. The next thing we want to show you guys is the Guild Tech Rook. Rook, R U K. It is a little razor blade. Uh, I believe this is aluminum. It slides in and out. You just push down, pops out. It's got some other multi tools on it. You've carried this before. So yeah, I've actually it. used a lot. It come. It came with a, a black blade, but it has a bit holder that doesn't fall all the way through. A little pry bar scraper and a bottle opener, and yeah, and the razor's easy to push in and out and to, to replace so very easy to replace the blade it's really quick it's got a little string um cutter and it does it is really 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 handy so yeah go check them out all right to start i'm going to start on a high note this is one of my favorites this is the kaiser beg letter um i got it at the same time as this one here which is the kaiser mini Doman. so these are two of my favorites and um let's go ahead and throw on some fixed blades. yeah i'm gonna do our three fixed blades really quick all right this is the crkt minimalist i do like this thing a lot this thing has a super skinny blade and it's really slicey and when you wear it in the front like on your front belt it you it just disappears you almost forget you even have it this is a ganzo da, 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 fh805 Fixed blade, nice little camp knife, and yeah, really cool. This only comes with a clip, though. All right, next up is the Buck Mesa. I do love this knife. Hollow grind, really thin behind the edge, and most camp knives with a 5-inch blade aren't this thin behind the edge, so they don't slice as, much, as good. Nice micarta, very comfortable, badassery. All right, back to some folders here. Here is a, a Tangram knife uh this tangram. is tangram sorry this is a the budget of the budget line from kaiser i guess and yeah it's a nice button lock aluminum scales awesome little edc all right let's start rushing through these this one is the f756 ganzo access lock great work knife love this knife g10 here's another g10 this is my probably one of my most used work knives this is another kaiser this is the v3 vigor absolutely smooth action here's two different knives they both remind me of each, yeah, of each other. This one is the the CRJB, one of their new knives, G10, very grippy. This is a Best Tech Warwolf, and yeah, both of these they have very similar action, um, very similar flipper tabs. You can see, and I was thinking about doing a comparison video. Let me know what you think about that. One more time. 
All right, this is kind of a random, like, um, knife that you wouldn't expect to be, like, good action, but it is an m and M20 made by Smith & Wesson. Not assisted. It is only tipped down, which is kind of weird, but, uh, you know, it's got really unexpectedly smooth action. Ball bearings, so. Yeah. All right, this one is the Tech NWO. Um, it's, it's a USA-made blade, but it is built in China, made in China. This is S35. It's a very strong backlock, but yeah, cool little work knife. Here's another Kaiser Vanguard coming at you guys. This one we did mod the blade. Uh, this is the Mini Sheepdog. It is probably one of my most carried knives, most loved knives. I'm a cleaver freak, and it is awesome. To your bruise. Bruiser. Um, <laughs> cool cool knife. It is one of their first ones. Um, really good action. And yeah, it's just it's a nice comfy. It'll comfortable give you a bruise. G10 and D2. All right, here's the Civivia Elementum with big old neat knives on it. Uh, this is an absolutely perfect EDC. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about this one. I, I really love don't. that knife. Yeah, I think everyone does. All right, this is the CRKT LCK, which stands for Light Compact Knife. This, I really like these knives. These things are such good um, light duty knives. They disappear in your pocket, and man, do they get sharp. They just blast their material. Awesome little knife. Here's the Beztech Paladin, one of our only Beztechs that we have. Um, oh, that's not true, but. One of our only Beztechs. How many Beztechs do we have, sir? Three. That's one of our only. Four. Anyway. Four. Anyway, um, this knife is a little bit big for me, but I still like the action, so I can't really complain. Ganzo F712, so F712. Um, this is kind of a copy of the... Benchmade Bedlam. The Benchmade Bedlam. There you go. All right, this is the CRKT Terrestrial. We are having the process of having to fix the clip right now. Jared bent it. Because, you know, he's reckless. I'm going to fix it. Um, but this is a really awesome knife. It was a gift. I was using it at work the other day. That's how it bent. So. This is probably one of my favorite CRKT knives for uh, the action. So. Nice hollow grind on there. They were, it's really comfy in the hand. All right. This one is the Spyderco Endura. Nice long knife. Nice back lock. This is our only real Spyderco at the moment. And, yeah, really badass. Here's another Ganzo. Um, it is the F755. I love cleaver knives and I love access locks, so why not put them together? Pretty pretty cool. What was the name of this one? That is the... Real Steel Protector? What was it? Real Steel Control. I remembered. Very heavy frame lock. Super heavy. Yeah, very... It's a little too heavy for me. Pretty cool. Nice uh, bellied, uh, I guess, Tonto, you could call it. Badass. All right, here's another one that's too heavy for me, which is the CRKT Fossil. Very awkward design, but nonetheless great action and a hole that does work. Don't um, don't unsubscribe for this. This is uh, a clone, and it is a real clone, not a copy. This is absolutely a clone, and yeah, I got it for a reason, so don't unsubscribe for it. Investigational purposes. Yep. All right, this time we got a little duo here. We have the FH-12 and the FH-11. Wait, which is which? The metal one is the 12, and this is all steel. Really, really, really smooth dropping action on this one, guys. And yeah, then this one we did mod over here, the 11. Yeah, they're both very smooth, but the steel frame one is just a guillotine. All right, this is the HX Outdoors. This is a cool work knife. And it has a, uh, it's really heavy. a thumb disc on top, thumb square, whatever you want to call it. Pretty cool. All right, here I have kind of three together for obvious reasons. They're very similar here. I'll start with this one. This is the Steel Wheel Intrigue. Um, it's kind of a almost a skinnier version of the two down here, which is the Steel Wheel Modus, which is the biggest one. It's a little bit big for me, and I'm not a huge fan of this FRN design. It looks a little, like, yeah, little kiddish yeah, design, I, sort it of. It feels way too plasticky to me. And this right here is the Steel Wheel Cut Jack, which is almost a smaller version of the Modus. Though I they, do like the knives. They do outside. make a mini Modus, so, you know, there's that, too. But yeah, I do like the knives, but, yeah, the, the FRN is just so plasticky to me. Yeah. All right, let's do, we do have a bunch of Kershaws, but I'm just going to do a couple in a row right now. This one is the, baby, what's the name of this one? The That's the Zing. Zing. Yep, Kershaw Zing. I did powder coat this side. Um, yeah, cool hollow grind. Kershaw, man, one thing they're really good at is making 
EDC knives. Just knives that are really good for EDC. Yeah. Another one. Oh, sorry. You, oh, no, go ahead. This one is the, I forget the exact name it's of it, but Emerson. it's an Emerson uh, collab. With it does have Emerson sign. So, yeah, it has the wave feature. It's a nice little small knife. All right, here is a popular one. This is the Kershaw Natrix. And then we have the Mini Natrix right here. So, obvious Shown similarities there. I will. And they're both suffering. You can see how much smaller this yeah, one is. Yeah, this, this one is a lot, lot, lot. It's smaller. the only one that comes in red, though. So. Yep. So these are both obvious good choices yeah. with the sheep's foot blades. We love these. All right. This one is the Kershaw Leak. Uh, this is an extremely slicey knife. This thing probably slices better than most knives out there, period. Mm -hmm. Very good knife. Very, very thin behind the edge. I really do like this knife. This is the Kershaw Strobe. It is a diskin design. Um, I am just not really a big fan of this knife. It's a little bit heavy for me. I'm not a huge fan of the K's all over the scales, but it has good action nonetheless and ball bearings on a very budget-friendly knife. Okay, this one is the Kershaw Launch 4. I did uh, kind of modify the edge a little bit and turned it into just a razor because I wanted to use it for a specific task at work, which was uh, I had to open up thousands of boxes in a week. So I was actually going to use this as just the tip. And it's pretty thick behind the edge, so it's not going to be ever a good slicer. So the one thing I wanted it for was that little tip. And yeah, it uh, served me pretty well at work. And it just looks really cool. I love that color. Here's another tiny Kershaw. This is the Kershaw Aptitude or Amplitude. I can never remember which one, but we call it Squirt. Uh, it's a little assisted knife, but it was one of my first, and I love it. Most of these knives have a name. Um, <laughs> a oops, personalized sorry. name. This one is the Bare Knuckle, and I do love this knife. This knife is amazing. Such a good knife. Beautiful design, and another great EDC knife from uh, Kershaw. All right, here's another one. This is the Kershaw Knockout. Yep. I always mix it up with the bare knuckle. Another sub frame lock, but this one is assisted. It's also like massive, so we call it the Ogre for its giant green nature. But yeah, this is another good one. One of the only assisted knives that I really, truly actually enjoy. Yeah, I, um, I really like this knife, though. Man, does this thing take a good edge, and it's just a great slicer. I mean, just an ultimate cutter. Great work knife. You can tell I've worked a lot with that Get one. Get your, um, these guys ready. Okay. Um, this is just a little package, uh, Kershaw. I do like it. It's I throw it in a bag like and a nightstand so, knife. Yeah, like a nightstand knife or you know, throw it in your bag, you know, it's a nice little clip point. Yep. And just like Kershaw does, you know, nice hollow grind, very slicey, great knife. All right, here's the uh, Ontario Rat 1. This is an obvious uh, e uh, collector's knife. Um, and then you have here the big is one. The, that's the Rat oh, 1. That was the Rat 2. Did you say Rat 2? Oh, yeah, I might have. That was a Rat 2. This is the Rat 1. Okay, and then this is the Rat 1. Here's a modified version, which I really, really like. The hole does work really, really well in the modified version. And, yeah, and it's got a nice forward finger choil. So, yeah. Really cool. All right, and then this right here is the Ganzo kind of copy, I guess, of the wrap, but it does have an access lock. It is just as smooth as a wrap, but different lock, essentially. It's yeah. it's a good Everybody one. Everybody loves the rat, so hey, with yeah. an access lock, even better. Bang. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> excuse me. This is the Kubi, can't think of. KU233. KU233, I really like this knife. It's just. Too big if, for me. It's heavy, heavy duty. You can just feel the strength holding it. Nice steel liners and amazing action, but it's pretty slicey behind the edge. And yeah, it just works really good. Yeah, nice cutout to the lock. All right. Here is the ABKT protector. <coughs> not much to really say about this one. Not one of my favorite designs, but nonetheless, good action. Deep I really steel. like it. It's a really it's yeah, thin behind Jared the edge. Yeah, likes this one slicer. more than I do. So. All right. This is the F750. Fifty in the F seven five three, I think. Here, I'll hold them. Yeah, F seven five three. They're both. This one's modified, and I don't really like this uh, carbon like fiber carbon laminate. Fiber laminate. Um, there's no texture to it. It's just slick like glass. But I do like these knives. This one's kind of like the um, the O five six two from ZT, and this one is kind of like a Protec knife. But anyways, they're really cool knives, even though. They have the carbon fiber lamina. All right, here Great is action. another another Ganzo, the FH71. Um, not really huge on the color or the scales on this one, but I do like the blade shape, and I find it to be extremely useful and really good action. It's a nice Warncliffe drop point kind of combo. I really there. like this one. Yeah, you know, it's a good user. 
All right, this one is the ABKT Warthog. Um, this thing is just a really cool, useful blade. It did co come with a little tiny bit of detent lash, but aside from that, this little tiny hole is a very easy to use. All right, right here we have the small honey badger. I got mine with a pink backspacer. This is absolutely one of my most carried knives. I absolutely love that choil. I have nothing bad to say except for I wish they would make it in a different handle material for a little yeah, more money or whatever. Yeah, I don't like whatever. the FR on. But it doesn't bother me because it's so great. All right, this is the Rake P801. Oh man, everybody knows about this knife. Just a great budget knife. For about 40 bucks, you get a steel frame lock that's just a gorgeous blade. Very, very slicey, 14C28 on. Who can't love this knife? All right, next up we have this little Gerber. I'm not quite sure exactly what the model name is, but this is another really good little nightstand knife. Uh, same kind of deal with a rubber back lock. We're not huge Gerber fans, so. But Nonetheless, this has snappy lockup, and it's still sharp, so yeah. what, what else can you ask for? All right, this one is the, help me out here, baby. Oh, the, the Ossus. Ossus, yeah. Stat Gear Ossus. The Stat Gear Ossus. I like this, man. This is nice macarda, nice dark macarda, really comfortable in the hand, and just a straightforward knife. All right, right here we have, if I can't do any of it under the camera, but it is a Bear and Sons uh, battle song knife. This is the first battle song I ever had. And, nice um, hollow grind. Yeah, really, really not. I can't do it under the camera, but you guys get the idea. All right, this one is a Sam Remnew 9011. This knife is such a good G10 work knife. You can see it's shadow boxed. The... The cutout to the lock bar is really easy to get to, and it's just a nice, smooth, awesome knife. Just another straightforward knife. I like it. All right, here we have the SOG Terminus XR, which I'm sure Jared is going to want to say something about too, but this is probably the only SOG we've ever had that we really enjoy. You can see it has something similar to an access lock on it. It's amazing. Three ways of deployment. And listen to this. Sounds almost like a chain link. Sorry if you hear something in the background, guys. That's our um, air purifier. But anyways, yeah, this is such a great knife that SOG did. I hate the clip, but damn it, they did a good job. If they can do knives like this, why do they do knives like that when they can do knives right. like this? All right, this is one of our, uh, both of our favorites. It's the, um, is this real, real steel, steel Griffin? Griffin. Um, it's got a button lock, which is always nice to, nice to see, and a really smooth opening hole. I love that the aluminum scales are not powdery finished. They're nice and smooth. This is an it's fantastic it's knife, guys. On needle bearings, which makes fantastic. it super smooth. Yes, yeah, so nice. Love that knife. All right, this is the CRKT Igniter. It does have the VEF serrations, and if you don't like serrations, try VEF serrations. Yeah. These things will rip through anything. And I use this knife to cut through. I have really, really thick plastic bands that I cut at work, and most knives can't do it. This knife just rips right through it. It does have a back strap which acts as the um assist but it's not like a regular assist bar where it'll break this one can't break so at least for the most part all right this is a bushmaster gift knife really smooth that's wood. not the name of it no it's not called it it's, it was a gift knife this is a very cool knife and man does it take a crazy edge all right here's a similar one this is a Schrade old timer i mean this is an obvious staple in a lot of people's collections um yeah really don't cool. really have a lot to say yeah. <laughs> you know what it is all right, this is the Boker Zero. Um, I Man, I just really like this knife. It just feels like a rock. It just feels so comfortable in the hand. Very strong knife. Very hard uh, G10. Easy access to the lock bar. Nice big thumb studs. Really cool knife. All right, this right here is a Mallory design. Uh, With Armor is the name of the company. Um, yeah, it's it's an okay knife. I'm I not going to lie, there's a lot of design flaws, which we're not going to yeah, get into right some, now right, because right. we're trying to move along quickly here. Yep. Um, so, yeah. All right, this is the Land. I think it's made by Sam Remnew, the 910. Oh, man, this thing is awesome. I know it looks like a Sabenza, but let me tell you guys, it's absolutely nothing like a Sabenza, but it's very awesome. I do, I do really like this knife. Such a good work knife. All right, we have the CRKT Folding Razel. I'm a massive fan of Graham knives, and I've always wanted a real razel, so when I saw this, I had to get it, and yeah, I mean, who would not love this, especially there, for work? There isn't much I haven't done with this thing. This little tip right here does act just like a tip. Works really good for slicing, nice hollow grind. You can probably scrape, all kinds of stuff. Really good knife.
All right. All right, we're gonna start off with a few Benchmades. We're getting to our higher end or more expensive ones. I really like a Benchmade. I wish they were thinner behind the edge, but aside from that, this is the, the big grip. That one's the mini grip. Mini. See the size difference? We also have the mini grip Tonto serrated version. You can see the size difference, but they are exact or you know exact same knife. Great knives. I really like. It. I really like that sound too. I know a lot of people talk say that they don't like that sound because of the FRN, but I like it. I don't like the FRN. I do wish it was G10, and they do have a G10 model, but we don't have that one. Yeah, it's hard to work under this camera. All right, next we have the a bench made bug out. Um, this is the last time you see it with the JG10. We are going to be dying it. Very cool. I love this knife. Such a good knife. And these scales were brought to us by... Flytanium. Flytanium. All right. Next up, we have a classic ZT0450, but we did like a battle-worn finish on it. Uh, this thing keeps changing colors every day. It is so awesome and a staple in a lot of people's collections. This is a must-have for sure. Kubi Aris. This is full carbon fiber and titanium. This is a modified one which uh, I do love a lot. This is probably one of the best buys you can get. 50 bucks. You get D2, titanium, or yeah, titanium and carbon fiber and real carbon fiber. All right, this is a Tucson knife. This is the TS49. It is one of their older designs, but one of the better older ones, I would say. Awesome blade shape, beautiful materials. Perfect EDC action. size. Yeah, perfect EDC size. Amazing access to the lock bar. Just a great, great knife. <clears throat> um, the TS, this is the Tucson TS-138. Uh, Titanium, full carbon fiber, beautiful carbon fiber, three ways of deployment, really good ergos. I do like this knife a lot. Do you have any more Tucsons? Yep. Why don't you grab that next? Okay. TS-162. This knife to me is the most ergonomic knife that I've ever felt so comfortable in the hand and you know like when you're cutting and slicing nothing gets in your slicing path even if your fingers up on the jimping and this is probably the slight the large the biggest slicer of the year this thing is super thin super thin behind the edge thing is like 13 thousandths behind the edge amazing action titanium full car or carbon fiber very lightweight the only thing i don't like about it is the clip but but this action is great and man is this thing just a crazy good slicer i can't can't express that enough one more colorful i think it's one more. colorful one. Oh, a couple more we got a couple more that one here i'll start with this one while he's looking for the other one so yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the tucson what number is this one ts169 all right this one we clearly modified but it is long and skinny we call it the bane and man this is just a really nice one i just I, it's pretty thin behind i the enjoy the shape some... i really do i really like the the shape of this guy it's so so easy to carry in the pocket almost yeah. like carrying a pen like a fat pen but except you got a long knife this is the TS-16, so this is one of the older models. I do love the clip on this one because a lot of Tucson's clips suck, but this one's really good. This is such a good EDC blade shape. I do like it. It's a little thick behind the edge, but great, great EDC knife. Very Pretty long, but good knife. Is that it for Tucson's? That's it, I think, for Tucson. All right, next up then we have a little Vox design here. This one was a gift. It is clearly uh, got a big belly like Santa Claus. And uh, I love this knife. It's little. It's got a hole. That's probably my favorite style knife. So cannot complain. Also can't open it apparently. So there you go. This is the Strider collab with ProTech. It's a small knife. But PNG. you choke up right there on the finger choil. It works really good. I do like this knife a lot. It is an auto. That worked really good. Nice strong auto. Nice deep carry. I like this textured aluminum, such a good knife. All right, next up I have two of my um, original Kubi knives. They're both titanium. This is the Kubi Anteater, which has beautiful anodization on it. Awesome blade shape. And then this right here is the Kubi Thanatos from when I was in my Tanto phase. Uh, both of these finishes really like are absolutely gorgeous. And this one is a fantastic slicer. They both are. The other one's probably better for scoring, the Anteater, but... This one has amazing sounds. Yeah. Listen to this. Such good sounds. Great knife. I like it. All right. All right. Now here is the Buck Marksman. 
I love this knife. I think this is one of the best EDC blade shapes. Mm -hmm. Nice thin hologram, about 15 thousandths behind the edge. The um the back lock, which is called the deadlock, right? Or no, strong locking system. SLS. SLS, strong locking system. You do have to get used to it, but once you do, amazing fidget knife and amazing sounds on this one too. Listen. Such good sounds. And man, it's just such a good slicer. Three ways of deployment. Such a great knife. All right, this is probably one of my favorite knives at this time, which is the Kaiser Yorkie. This was a gift, and I am in love with it. I always wanted this knife. This clearly amazing anno job makes it better. It's polished. It is gorgeous, and I love the blade shape, and I love the size. It is fantastic for my pockets. I mean, it, it really is. It's Oh, I love it. What was the name of this one again? This is the Kaiser... Guru. Guru. This thing... I know it says a lot when I say when I say this, but this feels a lot like a Sabenza. The finish. The finish. The it's like a um I think aluminum oxide uh bead blast finish where it was uh, blasted with aluminum oxide. It's so it's got that same finish, and then the the access to the lock bar, just the way it feels, and you know just a lot about it. But anyways, I know it's a cleaver blade, but good er it's good ergos on it, and yeah, it's a great knife. I do like it. All right, next up is another Kaiser and probably arguably one of the most perfect EDC knives ever. Titanium, beautiful drop point, thumb studs, awesome action frame lock. We love this knife. Somebody borrowed it to us and Jared loved it so much that I went and got him one. Ah, oh, man. It's a really good knife. It is arguably, seriously, one of the most perfect EDCs. It feel, it, you can feel the quality in the knife, just, uh, just everything about it. They thought about it a lot and just the feeling of it. Let me just do this last Kaiser really quick. This is the Kaiser Rogue. Um, it is a absolutely great work knife. I love the shape of this blade. It's a great slicer for boxes, things like that. You it's can an, tell it's one of the older miles. Yeah, I was just about to say it's one of the older designs, but um, clearly we modded this one as well. But um, yeah, we absolutely love this one for working. Yeah, great work knife. Okay, I just wanted to go and grab this really quick because this is the Kaiser Fire Ant. It is a newer design, but you can clearly see the similarities here. It's like a smaller, kind of stretched out version of this one. And man, it is. Its oh original gosh. finish was all titanium. Yeah. She recently modified. Turn it around. So yeah. You see. It so like, it was all like this, and then she modified just it. Just like this she one wanted. was all like this. So yeah, love these. This is the Benchmade 51 Morpho. I do like this knife. Oh my god, it, the action, it's so smooth and smooth. Smooth and it's G10 and it's just for a bala song. It's really super duper light and it just feels good to flip if you you know if you like to flip it. Even if you don't, you know, just learning how to flip a bala song open is really, really easy. And yeah, it's just it's a it's a great bala song. Such a good one. All right, this is one of my other work knives for obvious reasons. The blade shape is just an absolute razor. This is the Best Tech Goblin. It is another modded knife. Um, oh, yeah. That, not only is the carbon fiber and titanium a great combo, but the shape and the size is perfect for any female or anyone who doesn't have a lot of space to carry. I love this thing. Ace Biblio from Giant Mouse. So it's a Giant Mouse Ace Biblio. Love, love, love this I was this disappointed knife. by this, to be honest with you guys. She was disappointed. I was too at first, but after I got it to break in, now the action is so much better. It does have a very strong detent, but you do start getting used to it, and it starts breaking in. And the, um, the Micarta does take a long time to start breaking in, but, man, it just... It's such a good EDC knife. It works really good in the pocket, and it just it feels really good to work with. Nice thin blade stock, pretty thin behind the edge, blast through material, M390, great knife. All right, these last ones I'm going to show are kind of like my fanciest knives. So here is the Wii Vapor. Uh, you cannot deploy with the hole, but it is uh, you're able to assist the opening by squeezing it. Not left-handed, though, because the frame's in the way. So you can roll it out like that. It's got this beautiful, like, raised 3D carbon fiber titanium with, like, some sort of, like, a um, ceramic finish or something like that. Uh, but it's got the sliciest blade. This thing is a beast. And, yeah, definitely one of my nicest knives.
here is the Tuya. Can't remember the Argon. exact the Tuya Argon. <laughs> I really like the anal finish on this, and you see how it's, it's like, like a top geographic topic. Yeah, map. it looks really really cool. This is a first production, and yeah, really really cool knife. This one is not going to be ours much longer. Hint hint. So uh, look out for maybe a giveaway video. What? Real All right. Knife. This is my next nicest knife. This is the Medford Eris. It is a tiny baby Medford, which I love. It's got the clickiest little noises. Listen to this. Hear that? What? This was a gift that I'm eternally grateful for. Um, beautiful finish. Like, come on, guys. Come on. And it is completely deployable. Like, the hole actually it works. Which is so cool. I find it to be, uh, I mean, it's obviously very tiny in my hand, but still very easy to fidget with. Mm -hmm. But I do love this knife. And this makes me want so bad to own a or have. A big daddy Medford? Yeah. Not even one of the giant ones, just a good EDC one because mm -hmm. you can feel the build quality in this thing. I mean, this thing, you can't push over that lock bar to save your life. It's just so strong and well built. I really like this. I love the sound of it. Chink! Love it. All right, this is my most fancy knife right here. This was a gift, another one that I'm eternally grateful for. Uh, this is the Mini SOCOM Elite. This is an auto version by Microtech. It is from 99, and I can't get focused to save my life. There we go. This thing is just fantastic. I can't believe for however... 20, over 20 yeah, years how good the action still is and this thing i can't say a lot about using it because like i just can't really get myself to carry it i'm afraid for over a 20 year old knife uh, you would think if i put it in anybody's hand ooh, my hand got in the way you would think this thing was a brand new knife yeah i mean it still has a, a great edge on it i mean hell this thing's awesome yeah wow I, I, I get silenced every time All I All right, have now it. I have uh, two the last Envies. Two. This is the last two. I love both these knives. This is the Two Envy One, made by Dave Warren, or designed by Dave Warren, made by Two Knives. Just amazing, amazing knife. This originally came with uh, just bare titanium hardware, and um, I got uh, the green hardware. So, yeah, just mash a little bit better. Looks really good. And then this one has the very thin hollow grind Ooh, drop yeah. point that, oh, man, I even like this one even more. Just an amazing, amazing yeah, knife. Yeah, definitely new and improved. Yeah, such a good slicer. It even sounds a little different because of that hollow grind. And I'm going to, because since this was a Christmas gift, this thing will never be sold, so even though it is an expensive knife and a lot of people wouldn't uh, beat the hell out of it, I mean, I guess depending on your budget, I'm going to use the heck out of this <laughs> knife. This knife won't probably look like this the next time you see it. I don't know, unless somebody else wants to check it out or something, but aside from that, I'm going to totally use this. This will be a 100% user. A lot of expensive knives we consider safe users where we use them, Bring them to, you know, work. But I'm not going to try to cut metal wire Right, care for <laughs> EDC know? and stuff. But, yeah, we're not going to try to scratch up the blades or anything like that. But this thing I am definitely going to hard use. All Thanks, right, guys. guys. That is the end of the knife collection. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell. See ya.